guys. Um, so it's me, Naomi, um, and this is my video for the Infinity Sequence. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to like kind of say a bit about ourselves. Um, so yeah, um, I'm Naomi, I'm 13 years old. Uh, I was born in Northern Ireland, the UK. Um, so I'm still living here, obviously. And, um, yeah, I have an interest in music, art, um, knowledge as a whole. Uh, I write and read poetry. Um, I just write short stories. I'm kind of into a lot of creative stuff. Um, so, yeah, I kind of went on my spiritual awakening, um, actually just this year. Um, and I started watching Lisa's videos and Richard's and a lot of other people uh, who are also um, in this channel. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm really excited and very honored to be part of this channel. And I know we're going to have great fun and we're going to learn a lot of new things. So, I think that's all I have to say for um, my kind of intro thing. Um, so the great topic that we thought of was, um, how would law work in a utopian society? Um, and over the time that I've had to do this, I've been thinking a lot about it. Um, but my thoughts kind of resonate with a lot of what, um, other members of this channel have been talking about. Uh, but I've got my own points, um, scattered among them, and I'm going to talk about that. Um, okay, so the definition of uh, utopia is basically a perfect place, uh, especially in its social, political, and uh, moral aspects. Um, the first question we asked ask is, um, would there be law in a utopian society? Um, and I would answer by saying, yes. I believe that any society can only function with some sort of structure or organization. Um, I think without laws, societies would crumble and chaos would be thriving. Um, you know, if I, I think if there were no laws, the utopian society probably couldn't exist. Um, and as Casey mentioned, um, the universe as a whole has meaning and structure, and laws, uh, I think, would be evident within the society. Um, so, yeah, the next question. How would law work in a utopian society? Um, well, first let's establish that laws would be put into place to maintain the perfect society. Um, but the problem is, how can you, in this three-dimensional realm, define laws that distinguish what is perfect? What I'm saying is, it is completely a matter of opinion what is right and what is wrong, um, what should be done and what shouldn't be done. It's completely a matter of opinion because that's just our human nature. We're all different. And therefore, the only way I could see a utopian society um, ever existing is if it was a spiritual one. Uh, I think Richard said that as well. And it's the only way I could ever see the utopian society ever um, reaching up to that high goal of the utopia. Um, and it would be the only way that the utopian society would maintain and continue um, because if it's not spiritual it couldn't be there in the first place worldly issues and problems would stand in the way of ever achieving this ideal society and without internal awareness and guidance again it wouldn't be achievable um, in my opinion um, so since this society is spiritual 
and not in this three-dimensional realm. Do you think that we could form laws out of our own spiritual intuition? Do you think that this outside this 3D world, truth is a neutral statue that is completely objective? Because let's face it, the culture that we live in today in this planet tells us what is good and what is bad. For example, um, murder, rape, we all consider that bad. And I'm not going to say that, you know, rape is good or rape is, you know, I think that rape is bad and murder is wrong. But I mean, like we said, outside this three-dimensional realm, would that be, you know, completely neutral? I don't think anyone, any human being in this 3D world has ever seen from a completely neutral state of what is the perfect truth. That can only be obtained spiritually. So what I'm saying is the perfect truth and the perfect law set would only be what you determine what is right. Um, so that's, that's kind of all I really wanted to say about that. But just as a little footnote, um, Chelsea and Casey and a lot of others um, mentioned that the only way possible to maintain a utopian society is the conscious connection between us all and love being the core and at the center of it all um, to maintain harmony and, you know, for the utopian society to continue and to not fall back down to, you know, something that isn't a utopia. And if our awareness is developed and we are spiritually in tune, I think a utopian society could continue. Uh, so I, I really do agree with you guys. Um, but that's all I think I had to add um, presently. I guess I will now tell you my topic. Uh, that I'm going to suggest for the next sequence. The next topic I want to talk about is um, nature. Nature as a whole. Nature as um, a spiritual component. Um, just to chat about what you think of nature, how it, you know, relates to you. Um, just that kind of topic. Um, and just what you think nature is, um, any kind of thoughts about that. Um, so this is going to be kind of a, if it does get picked, uh, a kind of a, a wide variety of um, different things. You can talk about anything about nature. Uh, so I think that would be interesting to hear about. Uh, so... Thank you again, and I uh, can't wait for the next video, guys.